If you ask the average young person, what do you want in a, in a husband? You hear, he must be tall. What does tall have to do with marriage? He must be tall, dark, handsome. Pastor, have you ever met a couple that have been married for 30 years? And they ask them, what's the secret of your heart? If you ask the average young person, what do you want in a, in a husband? You hear, he must be tall. What does tall have to do with marriage? He must be tall, dark, handsome. Pastor, have you ever met a couple that have been married for 30 years? And they ask them, what's the secret of your happy marriage? And the woman says, ah. <laughs> it's the height of my husband. It has been helping us. This, is, this height has so... It has no bearing in marriage. But the average young person, if you ask them, tall. This sort of tall, peak tolerant. Peak tolerant. Especially because of your bad attitudes. You need someone that can tolerate you. <laughs> Tolerance is more valuable. You know, someone who say, I want a fine man. These are the things they are bombarding young people with today. I want a fine man. It's not a fine man you want. You want a faithful man. You see. Because with all the divorce cases I've encountered and all that, I've never had a couple enter the room I want to end their marriage because their husband is no more fine. Why do you want to end his marriage? It's not fine. But what I hear... Almost 90% of the time is that he wasn't faithful. But when people are single, they can't articulate. So I want a college graduate. No, that's not what you want. You want somebody mentally compatible. You want somebody intellectually compatible. That's what you want, not a college graduate. There are some college graduates you can't have the same conversation with. Somebody get what I'm saying? Some of the guys that have changed this world are college dropouts. And this is not saying you should not go to school, but I'm just trying to say what you really want is somebody mentally compatible. If you ask the average young person, what do you want in a, in a husband? You hear, he must be tall. What does tall have to do with marriage? He must be tall, dark, handsome. Pastor, have you ever met a couple that have been married for 30 years? And they ask them, what's the secret of your heart?